everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back. So, of course, The Empire Strikes Back stars Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher. And before I do review The Empire Strikes Back, my guest star, WWE fan 0599, is going to be reviewing this movie. So, WWE fan, take it away. Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review The Empire Strikes Back. So, The Empire Strikes Back stars Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, and James Earl Jones. And what this film is about, it's about, you know, of course, the rebellion. You know, is trying is trying to get away from the Empire because the Empire obviously is striking back, and you know, on the battle for Hoth, they're trying to get the Empire. And what happens is, is Luke gets this um kind of deceased kind of this message from a deceased Obi Wan about this old master to go to him to learn more about the Force, and just yeah, he does that. So yeah, so what I think. Of the Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back is the greatest movie ever made. This is no doubt about it, the greatest movie ever made. There, there's nothing that compares to this movie. The Empire Strikes Back is a phenomenal masterpiece of just all sorts. The Empire Strikes Back is an incredible, incredible movie. So yeah. So let's get into my positives. And my positives are of course, the acting with the film. The acting is absolutely incredible with The Empire Strikes Back. Everyone does an incredible job in this movie. Of course, Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, he's incredible. I think Mark Hamill did an absolutely incredible job as Luke Skywalker. He's absolutely incredible. I thought he did an absolutely amazing job. He's incredible in this film. You know, Harrison Ford, of course, as Han Solo, he's great as well. I loved him in the film. He did such an absolutely amazing job. Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia, of course, she's incredible. She she did such an amazing job in the movie. I thought she was absolutely incredible to watch. And, of course, James Earl Jones as the greatest movie villain of all time. You will not name me another movie villain that is better than Darth Vader, because there is no movie villain that is better than Darth Vader. And James Earl Jones, of course, is absolutely incredible as Darth Vader. You know, doing the providing the voice of him and everything, he's just absolutely incredible. I love it. He just was absolutely incredible in this film, so yeah. Um, Billy D. Williams, of course, as Lando, he's great as well. So yeah, just everybody does an incredible job in this movie, honestly. Just the acting's great all, all around. I love how this film is much darker than the original film, you know. It's much more, you know, uh, just just darker and more of a drama, really. Like a space sci-fi drama, really, if you think about it. You know, it just really... And, you know, the first movie was a fun space adventure film. And that's why I love it, because it was so great. It was such a fun space adventure film. And it's so awesome. But in this movie, it's much more of a darker approach. And it's much, it's a much more darker, you know, feel. And just, just much more grittier feel with The Empire Strikes Back. And, you know, you have fear for all the characters, especially Luke, who's learning about the Force. And it's incredible to watch, honestly. It really is, you know. Just, you're intrigued with everything that's going on in this movie, honestly, you know. And it's just incredible. The writing's absolutely incredible with this film, you know. The dialogue between each and every character, you know. It's just great, honestly, and I love it. The directing is absolutely uh, tremendous with the film. The directing is absolutely incredible. The visuals, the visuals are so incredible with this film. Some great visuals, honestly. Just some great visuals, in my opinion. So, yeah. And, of course, I was just invested for this entire film. There's, you know, I'm just invested in this entire film. The pacing's absolutely great. I'm invested. I was never bored throughout this movie, obviously. It just it kept my interest the entire time during The Empire Strikes Back. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to talk about something. Of course, I cannot go, with, go without talking about the certain thing in this movie, you know. So, if you haven't seen The Empire Strikes Back, which, what are you doing with your life, honestly... 
But if you haven't seen the film, do not watch this part because I'm going to spoil something that's pretty huge. So, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, please, please do not watch this part of the video. So, yeah. Of course, when Han Solo gets frozen in Carbonite, it's a very emotional scene to watch because, you know, you're seeing Han Solo, a character, you know, that you really care about, seeing him being frozen in Carbonite. And, of course, the scene with uh, Princess Leia going like, you know, I love you, and then Han, who actually Harrison Ford was supposed to say, I love you too, but no, he was like, no, Han wouldn't say this, so he said, I know. Just made for one of the best uh, scenes in cinema, in my opinion. Just absolutely great. And of course, the reveal. You know, that final lightsaber battle between Luke and Darth. One, to me, the greatest lightsaber battle of all time because you could just feel the tension between them you could just feel the tension that's going on and luke is just losing he keeps on like he keeps on going in just going in going in going in and that's what's failing because darth just is much much smarter than him and you know and basically luke's being a fool think about it. he's being a fool and you know and it's just such a great back and forth lightsaber battle i love every second of it and of course, when you see when you get to you know when uh, Luke hits um, Darth's like um, mechanical hand and he goes crazy and he cuts Luke's hand off, and that that maybe watching that as a child was a very intense scene for me because I saw someone get their right hand cut off. So you know, very intense scene. And of course, when Darth's like you know we can you it's your destiny to join the dark side. He was like, I'll never join you. And he's like, he never. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He's like, he told me everything. You killed him. He's like, no, I'm your father. And you're just like, oh, like, you're just like, oh, my goodness. It's the greatest twist in cinema history. Nothing compares to this twist. It is the greatest twist in cinema history. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, just so, so, so great. I love that scene. It's probably one... It's one of the greatest scenes of all time, or maybe even the best scene of all time. It's just absolutely incredible, that scene. I love that scene. It's just incredible, so yeah. Guys, obviously The Empire Strikes Back is one of the greatest movies. No, no, it is the greatest movie ever made. Sorry about that. It's one of my favorite films of all time, and is, to me, the greatest movie ever made. Guys, obviously this movie is getting an A. Plus, this is an absolutely incredible film. If you've never seen The Empire Strikes Back, what are you doing? See this movie. It is a masterpiece. N just, if anybody tells you there's a problem with this film, they're wrong. I'm sorry, they're wrong if they say there's a negative with this film. Because this movie is the, this and Toy Story are the definitions of a perfect film. Because this is a perfect movie in every way. I love The Empire Strikes Back. It definitely gets an A+. Plus. So what you guys think of The Empire Strikes Back? Leave in the comment section below. And what's your favorite Star Wars film? Leave that in the comment section below as well. I'm WWE Fan 0599 and we'll see you out later. Peace. Thank you so much WWE Fan 0599 for reviewing The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back is a cinematic achievement without a doubt. This movie is fantastic. And as much as I did love the original, I love this one a little bit more, to be honest. It does surpass the original just by a little bit, in my opinion. The Empire Strikes Back is just so well made in its technical achievement, in the storytelling, and it's basically everything you want, not as just a Star Wars fan, but as a movie fan in general. The movie has great performances, once again, from Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. He is so great here, and he just brings in a lot of emotion to his character. You could feel the facial expressions that he brings when he feels a certain emotion. He just does a great job as Luke Skywalker. He always does. Same thing goes to Harrison Ford as Han Solo. Once again, the character is just so awesome and so likable and you just enjoy being in this adventure with this character because he just has so much charisma to him. And Carrie Fisher, of course, does once again do a very great job playing Princess Leia. Oh my god!
God, Tony, it's Leia. It's Leia. Come on. They all do a very great job having their back and forth and Han Solo and Leia, they have their little romance going on here. And I bought into their romance that they started to form. You know, they do have chemistry with each other and that was actually really cool to see in this movie. And then you have Luke Skywalker who is learning more about becoming a Jedi with Yoda being here in the Empire Strikes Back. We actually get to see Yoda for the first time in the original trilogy and I love that because Yoda is such a great character. He's very interesting. I loved all those moments between Luke Skywalker and Yoda together and the puppetry for Yoda is fantastic. All the practicality that goes into the Empire Strikes Back is amazing. It is a breath of fresh air and I thought all the visual effects, whether it had to be puppetry, like with Yoda, which is so impressive, whoever captured Yoda with the puppet skills, you know, just like with the original film, the lightsaber fights or the shooting moments, all those look great. The director for The Empire Strikes Back did a fantastic job directing this movie. And just like with what George Lucas did with the original Star Wars film, he does use a lot of wide shots to keep you very immersed into this world. You just love being in this adventure once again with these characters. And that's what honestly makes The Empire Strikes Back such an exciting adventure. And not to mention that this is darker than the original film. Although yes, you can still have a lot of fun watching The Empire Strikes Back. They do go more deeper and darker in tone and in storytelling. Chewbacca, of course, I know I'm going to keep repeating this, but I love Chewbacca. C-3PO and R2-D2 here, they always have nice screen presence. We also get introduced to the character of Lando, who was a very interesting character. He's very likable. He has so much personality to him. And I thought the actor who portrayed Lando did a very great job. John Williams' score is, once again, fantastic. The score just flows so well with each of the scenes, whether it's a scene with Yoda training Luke Skywalker or Han Solo and Leia having their moment. Every single scene John Williams' score is playing, it sounds so beautiful and it just makes the movie that much better. And then the storytelling for Empire Strikes Back really is great. It does raise the stakes from the original film and the stakes definitely get high. Especially when it comes to the twist at the end. I know everyone's already know the twist at this point, but I still don't want to really reveal the twist for those that somehow don't know about the twist. But the twist in this movie is just utterly fantastic. And Darth Vader, my goodness, just talk about a very menacing villain. You don't want to mess with Darth Vader. You don't want to mess up the job because he will just freaking destroy you. He's a very powerful villain. The actor who plays Darth Vader is really great. I always forget the actor's name, but of course, James Earl Jones, who does the voice for Darth Vader, once again, does a very nice job blending with the character because I don't think a voice could fit Darth Vader no better than James Earl Jones. Once again, the cinematography looks very beautiful. The action sequences are just really exciting and thrilling to watch. And each of the locations just looks so beautiful. It truly is amazing watching a movie like The Empire Strikes Back. The movie that raises the stakes. The movie that has a dark tone to keep the atmosphere going. The movie that has characters you care about and you want these characters to survive and you want these characters to just kick some ass because it's really awesome whenever you see like Princess Leia kick ass or Han Solo kick ass or Luke Skywalker kick ass and seeing Luke Skywalker's training and how to not have his fear get in the way of him it's really amazing stuff and it's what makes his character develop so much better and you just want this character to succeed it's a very well written movie it's a very well directed movie it has a great ending to set up for Return of the Jedi a beautiful score by John Williams Darth Vader continues to be a very menacing and memorable villain. Just like with Star Wars A New Hope, 
I am giving The Empire Strikes Back 4 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of The Empire Strikes Back. And I would also love to thank my guest star, WWE fan 0599 for reviewing The Empire Strikes Back. He's a very cool dude, so if you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!